get out of college, and uh, I know you worked for AOL. Was that right after college, or how, oh, how did that how did that come about? That was long after. Uh, I worked for a series of small companies, and doing. I was a software and hardware engineer uh, to start with. Um, realized very quickly that I was not a very good hardware engineer uh, because I made a lot of mistakes. And if you're in that world, the, the people that you know, the, that maybe one other person that w w watches this will understand this. When you commit a design to hardware and you get it wrong, it's really expensive to fix it after those boards have been cut and the parts have been soldered onto the board. But when you do software and you make a mistake, you just replace the chip. It's not a big deal. And fortunately for me, I ended up being very good at software. So it was a good trade-off. I gave up the hardware, stuck with software, and sort of went from there. Worked for a number of companies. We moved to Columbus, um, 88, something like that. Uh, worked for another series of companies. Ended up at CompuServe through a whole bunch of different ranges. Some of your older viewers might remember CompuServe way back in the day, pre-AOL. And then CompuServe got bought by AOL, and that's how I ended up at AOL. Okay. Now, you uh, had a pretty prestigious job there, if I remember you uh, talking it, about this. It evolved into a very big job, yes. I was, at one point, I was the senior technical director of network operations for AOL. So what that means is I was responsible for all of the data center networks for all of AOL's data centers around the world. Wow. So, so the work was essentially Divided out into three key chunks, I was responsible for the data center portion of that. So every time my AOL went down, it was you? It was probably my fault, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long did you do that? Uh, let's see. We got bought out in 98. Uh, that's when I joined the AOL family. And I left that particular job uh, by taking a leave of absence in 2000. Five, the summer of 2005. Okay, so uh, it was a very rapid climb. My, my climb through the ranks there was about as fast as the stock market was going like this at the time. Wow. It was a very, very good time to be at the company. Okay. Uh, but essentially, I burnt out. Uh, and I took a leave of absence, or sabbatical, if you want to call it that. And they didn't really have a sabbatical program. They had a concept of a leave of absence. And what that meant was you uh, gave up your job took your leave of absence, and then when you came back, you looked around to try and find something different. And so that's how I got out of that particular role, and then I looked around and found another position that I was there for another year and a half before I finally pulled the plug. Mm -hmm.